Got to get that zombie fish, who is a common, by the way. Thanks for the raid, Jarvis. Hey, Jarvis, Welcome. what's up? Welcome, everybody. Hope you had Hope fun you on Jarvis's stream. stream. Yep, yep. We're playing some Legacy. Yep. <laughs> Two of your decks died. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry, actually. <laughs> no, I know, that stinks. It does stink when your deck dies. It does. It, it does. I feel really bad for the Adnaz players in Modern. Like, they didn't ask for this. Yeah. Well, they kind of did by playing Adnaz, but... No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I mean, they're kind of evil right now. I'm, I'm just playing. Um, they are the Ponder. people who have, like, the super pimped decks, though. You know, they're all in on their Adnaz. Hmm. Is that true? Uh, I guess I guess opinion, you're right, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think now who I know that plays that deck and if their deck was all foily and stuff. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Ponder leaving three on top drawing. I'm going to lead off with a needle. going to take a moment. Rollins, uh, he's going to daze it. Classic. Daze is back, you guys. Daze. <laughs> Daze is back. Daze didn't go anywhere. People were not playing Daze. Yes, they were. Snowco. Were they? In Team or Delver, they were for sure. Okay. Daze never. Okay, sorry. People, people were getting dazed <laughs> like crazy. People were, people were tired of getting dazed. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, sees We're gonna have a brainstorm in response to the sees Hide away a few key cards. Oh, Doomsday was playing it. Just kidding. Apparently, I was dodging days for like a year. Yeah, I guess so. You you were playing all the uh, the non blue non blue people tournaments, mm -hmm. like no blue no blue players allowed. Yeah. Life oh, totals. I, miss... I think we are looking at a mana confluence and a thought seize. So that's three. And uh, you know, I I rely mm -hmm. on Roland's right, we gotta phone. Blame Roland. <laughs> Yeah. And and he's letting us and down, Jack. Oh my gosh, what a mess! <laughs> this is a sad <laughs> show, everybody. This is a sad show. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Kip. Thanks, Kip. Chat. <laughs> Kip's always helping out. Everybody, say hello to Kip. Kip's one of our best. Okay, they 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 got there. Chat was just ahead of the players. <laughs> All right, wasteland, wasteland, forked bolt, two young pyromancers, and a Gurmag angler. I, what are you taking? I wish, well, Tom wishes he could take Wasteland, of but um, I think Young Pyro might be what he takes here. Also, what did he put back on top if he brainstormed before this? This is looking like a choice hand. Probably some counter magic, but uh, um, yeah. Possibly. 16 life? Did he tap the Mana Confluence twice? Uh chat thinks he's at 16 all right let me let me just tune into the players for a moment okay. here i would probably also take the gurmag oh, hey guys um chat seems to think tom is at 16 for some reason did he tap uh, uh, twice? Uh, yes needle on turn one that is correct. oh uh, needle okay thank okay, you thanks thanks chat uh, thanks chat oh we forgot about the needle that's right okay mm-hmm God, I was so excited by the days, you know. Yeah. Which apparently is a thing. Yep. And has been a thing this whole time. <laughs> Chat was correct. Yes. Yeah. Wow, three raids tonight. Welcome, Thraben You. Thank you, Phil, for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Pithing Needle We're... Take Two. Ooh, another Pithing Needle. Okay, so this one... It appears will resolve, right? Doesn't look like uh, Roland has anything to interact with that at the moment. Oh, he has one unknown card. Yeah. You could daze. Oh, it looks like oh, he's, he's going to waste in response. Might as well. On the Sajiri step. On the Sajiri step, really? Yep. Oh, and that's going to get stifled. Oh. oh, it hurts. And then Pithy Needles naming Wasteland. Dark oh. Depths is a land for turn. Wow. 
Wow. Wow. Well, not a very good turn right there for Roland. <laughs> Another wasteland, and it's going to try to make some elemental tokens with the other young Cairo. Wait, so Herbal am I going crazy? Swamps for everyone. Or did he tap the minor confluence again? Okay, yeah. Okay, they fixed it. Okay. So that mana confluence can also... Mm, yeah, it's not like City of Brass. Because if Urborg and City of Brass... City of Brass says if you tap it, it, become, it takes one, right? Versus mana confluence. Yeah, mana confluence is just an overall improvement, I guess. Yeah. Thoughtseize took the ponder. Putting Tom at 13. Mm-hmm. Stranding that force of will in hand. That's being stage in hand now for for Tom. The well, I, I mean the that's being stage is not in play right now, but the combo is basically within one turn Agreed. available. Yeah, and how if you are if you're Roland, how are you going to interact with it? you got to get rid of that Pitting Needle somehow. Here's Forked Bolt. Uh, he does have Brazen Borrowers in the deck. Okay. So he can bounce the Pithing Needle if he wanted to. So, like, I've bounced Pithing Needle in response to a Thespian Stage and then Wastelanded the copy kind of thing. Or you mm -hmm. can wait till he makes Merit Lage, and this is situational, and bounce the Merit Lage. Depends on what you have available and what they have available. But those are the options. Yeah. He just fetched up an underground C, and I guess is now revealing he doesn't have a Brazen Borrower. Yeah. Right? We know his full hand. Mm hmm. He's going to play the Grimag Angler. And. I mean that's a lot of da <laughs> that's a lot of damage he's representing on the crackback. Yep. And he's not dead this turn. So maybe it, it, it is a lot of damage, but uh, and I think he's doing it right now. Tom's going to make a blocker. Okay. And that should yeah, I think end the to. game if Brazen Borrow is not drawn here. Here's the top deck. Ooh. Legendary creature on the bingo card. Got it. Thanks. So he drew a card and he's looking at his graveyard. Does that mean anything? He does have a snapcaster in the deck. Okay. Starting with a swing. Uh, blocking hit for three. Oh, he did draw the bolt. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, poor All Roland. Right, so game one goes to Turbo Depths. Yep, game one goes to Tom. Um, I'll put the bingo card up on the screen. Let me know if we hit anything on the bingo card. Thank you for the follow, Daniel. Oh, and then Path, Path of, of Ancestry, Ancestry. Which I'm not familiar with that card. I, I guess don't even know Commander. that card. <laughs> oh, that's like a Commander okay. Tower card. Okay. That must be a new one. Yeah, I um, I kind of like the the Titans that they're doing. Mm -hmm. I really like the Prime Time. I already have my foil Prime Times, um, and but I kind of want those instead. Yeah. The uh, the Prime Time one has Uro, right? It is. And I Frost do Titan. Not understand why there's not an easier way to find all of these. <laughs> Okay. But they have started playing. Yeah, and we're back to business. Inquisition is going to get spell pierced. I will. Somebody can find. And it looks like ones. Tom is at 19 again. Mm -hmm. Ponder. For some reason, this mana confluence is not being kept up with as far as life totals here. Let's see if they fix it. 
Actually, Tom has himself at 19. Whatever. I have it right. Um, wow, an aggressive okay. wasteland, not even saving it. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Because he didn't play a second land, right? Oh, did oh, he no, miss he a land drop? No, he did not. No, he didn't. No. This is turn two for So we got Tom. the Kaldheim. I found it, by the way. Uh, that gemstone mine should be guys. ticked down. Okay, now it is. Great. Oh, you found the... Uh, oh, this, this super drop. The other one, Valentine's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's um, a lot of art in the... I wish I knew the names of the artists. I don't, unfortunately. But it's in that link, probably. The fairies one and the one that has a goblin token in Monster Swiss Spear. The two, mm -hmm. those two are so nice. I just don't use any of those cards. So I, I just chose not to buy those particular Understood. secret layers. There's no cards in them I that I, I would ever play. I might buy singles. I don't think yeah. I'd buy a whole secret layer. I think I might buy singles. Yeah. But if I played Commander and I used all those cards, I would buy it. Instantly. Mm -hmm. So that gemstone mine is also going to bite the dust. Leaving Tom with a Dark Depths, which, you know, just hanging out. Not going to tap for Banna. Versus okay, so... a fish of zombies. This is, this is a really, really aggressive start from Roland. Did... Chat, do you think yeah. Roland has a third wasteland in hand? Is that why he's doing this? Or he's just trying to bum rush with a Gurmag and hoping for the best? does feel like... My thought is that he is going to just try to get in with this Gurmag before Tom can set up. Oh, third <laughs> wasteland. Third wasteland. I, I called it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What was this opening hand? I need to know. Ah, uh, that, that explains it all. That's just great. Urborg swamps for everyone. Two black vampire hex mage. Wow. Well, you know, <laughs> when you play four wastelands. Oh, that was great. Also, Roland taps the wrong way, but that's a personal problem for me. <laughs> Catherine's on tilt, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> He should have wastelanded last turn. Debatable. Okay. Do you think he drew it? I mean, if I'm just looking at a solo Dark Depths and I can... Okay, so he's going to go for it now, which is totally, I think, is a safe time to go for it. you got to keep in mind we've got the what? stuff going on. But he is going to go for the Dark Depths. Oh, he had a stifle. Okay. Stifle follow-up. He's just got it all. Yeah, he does have it all. That was risky, though, but he's all in. That's not the way the tap. I... <laughs> it's the arrow goes that way. <laughs> it's fine. You'll be okay. Yeah, I will be. We'll address it's, it later. Oh, that we'll... lands in front. Uh, Roland's <laughs> being issued a fine as we speak. Yeah. From the from the nineties MTG channel. Stifle Grixis. Man, never didn't have it. So Alright, if you're Tom, how are you gonna rebuild here? I don't <sighs> have very many cards left in hand. Yeah, this is this is a tough position for Tom. Xylophone, if the arrows are wrong, I don't know what to believe in anymore. I think Roland loaded up on stifles today. So the only player that anybody knew was playing tonight was Bryant. And Bryant mm -hmm. plays Storm. So I think yeah. that's why uh, Roland loaded up on stifles for today after losing to Brian in last week's finals. Wow, here's a good recovery on Tom's side. He ex exiled a S Elvish Spirit Guide. Yep. And uh, Sylvan Scrying for a Dark Depths. And, and a, hex a Hex Mage. mage. Pretty good. This might have just gone awfully wrong for Roland, actually. I know. Can you stifle the ETB of Dark Depths? No. So you can stifle the the either the Hex Mage 
activated ability or that that's even stage activated ability, but it does not stop them from doing that again at a later time, if that's what you mean. All right, Gurmag hits. Well, because Dark Depths entering, because Dark Depths having no ice counters on it, that is not as, is that as triggered ability? The or Dark Depths happen? ability is a triggered ability, yeah. But I'm saying so you could maybe that's the question. Could you oh. stifle the dark depths having no ice counters on it? Oh, okay. So, oh, okay. I misunderstood the question. So, yes, you can stifle that, but it actually will just go on the stack again, and they'll make a Marit Lage. So that okay. doesn't Got it. do anything. Got it. It's basically a useless play that you can make. You can do that, okay. but it does not Legal doesn't target. do anything. Got yeah. it. Well, you know, Tom is down to four. There's a fair bit of burn in Rollins' deck. Snapcaster Mage is there. Rollin is a, because he's been getting rid of his wastelands, he only has two mana, though. Uh, oh, yeah. Well... Oh, Roland's passing the turn? Ouch. Yeah. Stifle Ooh, on okay. the Hex Stifle. Mage. Okay. Bought a little time. And it might be enough. It's risky. Roland's tapped out, so he can make a Marit Lage here. Yep. Yeah. And a Marit Lage that can block. Yep. All right, here's the Marit Lage. There's, Marit Lage. There's yeah. one wasteland left in Rollins' deck, as we have seen three of them. Yeah, that, that was a crazy I couple of first turns. I think the only way out for Rollins is burn. It appears so, yeah. Incoming Edict, says HD Fox. That would be pretty brutal. Yeah, Liliana's Triumph. Could have a Knot of This World in the hand to protect Marit Lage. Against a uh, bounce spell or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, Delver. It looks like that's not going to be enough. That was, um, yeah, really aggressive waste landing. Wow. Yeah, we 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 need to uh, ask Roland about that one. Yeah, um, I want to know what his opening hand was too. Yeah. All right, let's tune into the players, everybody. What's yeah. up, guys? Can you guys hear me? I can hear you. Oh, okay. Um, that was a pretty wild game, too, actually, where it, it it looked like Roland had everything for the first couple of turns. What was your starting hand? Everybody wants to know, Roland. Oh, he's already fanning it out. He's ready. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. I had this. Uh, you had the was... three wastelands? Oh, you had two. Uh, okay. I had two. Um, I think, sorry, I, I think the second one came from, um, yeah, I think the second one came from a brainstorm, but I had a stifle as well and a force, but I eventually ran out of blue cards for force mm -hmm. okay. and could not force his, I, I thought I, with the stifle up, I was safe, uh, but um he was able to resolve. Um, I think I, at one point I, I brainstormed and I like um, could not keep a, a force and blue card in, and that was the window. And he got right in there. 